Do you want to hear your game like the pros and just hit like every sound cue like mongrel, beta bot, and clicks? Today, I'm going to be putting you on and showing you the best audio settings in game and also some stuff you can do in Windows as well. So this will kind of work for console players, but primarily PC players. But if you're a console player, stick around because I can promise that your audio will sound crisp and optimized without needing to use any third party softwares. That goes for everyone. So hopping straight into this, you want to go in your Fortnite game and head over to the audio tab. All of these volume options are are of course subjective but you don't want them too low because if they're too low it's going to cause a problem but this again is based on your hardware it's based on your headset everyone's going to have a different experience here so copying a pro player like mongrels it isn't going to work but as for the other settings that will work so yeah tailor these ones to your liking and then scroll down and the big one first of all 3d headphones turn that right off get that off you don't need it. Visualize sound effects. This is not going to change how you hear the game. It would just affect your performance, but I have it on. Literally every pro has it on because it gives you such a competitive advantage, not obviously in frames, but in regards to like, you can see sounds that you previously like wouldn't be able to hear. Like even with this video, there's certain things that you just won't hear and this will show you. So it's crazy. Have it on. I, I recommend you have it on unless you have a really bad computer, but nonetheless, hopefully this video will help you with that if you don't want to have it on. And right here, sound quality, this is incredibly important. Now I have mine on high and a lot of pro players have theirs on high but to understand this we have to dive into the differences between low and high sound quality in fortnite now the first difference is audio fidelity i only learned about this today but low quality audio your audio is actually compressed so you don't get those intricate details and it narrows the frequency range in short those smaller sounds like footsteps and item pickups which are incredibly important in fortnite will be less pronounced and harder to you know identify now with high quality it's the opposite as you probably guessed, the audio in general is richer and more detailed. So there's a broader range of these frequencies, which makes these things clearer and more recognizable. Now, this could literally be the difference between qualifying for that cash cup or just getting eliminated and not winning the game. Now, the second thing would be spatial awareness. On low quality, you get a reduced ability to kind of pinpoint the direction or distance of sounds. So in a game like Fortnite, where positional audio is very important, you're going to struggle to detect where your enemies are. So maybe, yeah, the visualized sound effects setting could come in handy here but of course not everyone's gonna want to use it because of performance and we'll get more into that in a second but on the flip side in terms of spatial awareness on high quality you're gonna get improved audio without having to have that 3d headphone setting enabled and finally resource usage low quality you're gonna use less cpu less gpu and ram and the cpu is incredibly important because fortnite is a cpu intensive game so it uses a lot of processor power this is particularly good for you guys that do not want to use visualized sound effects because if you have limited hardware resources low quality will will give you more performance. Whereas high quality demands more system resource, which could in turn impact frames on particularly low end systems. But it does provide a more immersive experience and also that competitive advantage in the sound. So with that being said, I'm using high sound quality as you've already seen. And a lot of pros are using this now, although that wasn't always the case. People say that low sound quality will give you the OG pump sound. Now I don't think that is completely accurate, but it does alter the sound of your gun, especially your pump, which is like the primary weapon you'll be using in Fortnite. And though it isn't as big of a deal with like OG Fortnite coming back, they may actually not bring back those accurate sounds. And of course, with other weapons, maybe different game modes, this will be affected. So if you're on that OG feel, go with low. And you'll also get the benefit of performance, you know, that boost in FPS. But let it be known, if you're here for pro player settings, pretty much every pro is now using high. They never used to use that, but they're now using high quality because it gives you that edge. So just to quickly conclude that in a more brief sense, the choice ultimately depends on your priorities. So you either want performance in terms of like FPS and I don't know input lag or you want the competitive advantage now of course these things are like kind of interchangeable I'm not sure if that's the term I'm looking for but you know you can naturally get less of a competitive advantage with lower FPS so you know that's why if you have a bad PC you may be getting the best of both worlds with the low setting whereas if you have a high-end PC you don't struggle for FPS you can afford to lose a few frames yet yeah, without a doubt go with a high option and I mean this is why we see every pro doing it they do not struggle for FPS they have like $10,000 PCs now that is not everything. I promise you guys, I'll show you some things in Windows without using third party softwares. So this is the easiest, simple way to do it. What you wanna do is press your Windows key. You wanna type in sound, open up sound mix options. It'll bring up this right here. When you're here, this is just easier. You wanna click back into sound. You then wanna scroll down and press more sound settings. It's then gonna open up this. Now in the playback tab, what you wanna do is find your headphones. Now mine is gonna look very different to yours because I have a whole like a mic setup with a mixer. So I'm using like a GoXLR mini. Whereas you guys probably just have your 
headphones in here so it might literally be this one just you're actually probably playing this video on your pc so you'll be able to see which one is active once you found your headphones as i said mine will look different here you want to right click it go to properties it should say control information again mine might be different but you want to find where it says properties again click that you then want to go to driver and click update driver now this will not be the case for everyone you may have updated drivers but the first thing you want to do is just make sure it's updated once you've done that you may have to restart your pc but assuming you have now updated your driver you want to exit out go back into properties so right click at properties go to the enhancements tab you should now have an enhancement tab mine may look different to yours i'm gonna to have to use an example from one of my old videos where i could demonstrate this i cannot do that on my go xlr i manage all those settings separately so it's different for me but for those who can just do what they can or everyone pretty much watching this video you will find a base boot option here don't worry guys this is my own video i'm referencing you want to tick that and set it to 50 hertz the frequency and the boost level to 15 db which is 15 decibels now these are some og settings that every pro is using it was very much gatekeeped i managed to find these i don't know where i found them i think i saw them on like a stream like they weren't meant to show it and they shown it but yeah these were very much gatekeeped mongrel was using them for the longest time i believe he still uses them although he did use a third party software but then he went back to this but the third party software was very complicated and it's not the reason you're here you're not here for that and i know metro was on this and i think clicks at some point like pretty much every pro and most pros are still using it in fact when they get these pc optimizations and these professional tweakers go in and improve their performance a lot of the time they'll optimize their audio and this is how a lot of them do it and now after doing that there is one more thing so you should now have the bass boot enhancement ticked with those settings and also loud equalization you want to go into the settings for that as well and have it on the third notch so one two three there we go it's like the third one it's, i was gonna say the middle but it's definitely not the middle yeah just have it on the third notch and press okay press apply and now you're all good to go just hop back into fortnite and your game is going to be sounding just how their sounds now you can actually adjust these values so you know the uh, loudness equalization or the bass boost you can change them per your liking you know these things are subjective at the end of the day they're going to sound different through different headsets but these are like the most like general universally optimal settings so they should just pretty much work for everyone but if you have a really scuffed headset it may also then be a little bit scuffed but in that case maybe just adjust your game volume so literally as i mentioned at the start how it's like subjective and you can change your uh, you know you know the sound effects and the overall volume of your game just do that in fortnite don't change it anywhere else do that in fortnite the only enhancements we've made outside of fortnite today are just those bass boost and loudness equalization they're the two most important things and they're pretty much the only things that are going to kind of boost up those values and if you're using the in-game low quality sound setting they'll kind of compensate without using any extra resource or performance but you know if you compare these with a the high quality option you're going to just be getting like insane sounds you're going to be hearing footsteps you never heard before you're going to be winning games you never won before and it will make a difference especially in box fights and it takes a bit to get used to i do want to point that out it does take a bit to get used to but this is how it sounds i know like the gatekeeping goes far as well i've seen some pros that would change that obs setting so the software they record with will sound different to what they're actually hearing in their headphones of course some things are client side but sometimes they'll actually make tweaks because these are things that pros do not want to get out they don't want to leak these things because if they leak it means other pros start using them and they lose a competitive advantage because it becomes the norm